That is cool. So what is the mini to this top speed? Uh, I've gone into a meter per second. I'm sorry? A meter per second. Wow. Okay. And I don't know. It's all up to you now. Yeah. I don't actually think I know what I'm doing. Let's do this. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> We're, we're allowing the visitors to explore some of the new areas of science and engineering. Uh, we have some working robotics. Of course, we have the flight simulators, which we're well known for, and they love uh, participating in and learning how to fly the F-22 and F-35, but also renewable energy and some of the problems of the future. And, and I think that's what we're really focusing on here in the festival is uh, when kids think about going into STEM careers, science, technology, engineering, and math, they think of difficult subjects. I have to take calculus, I need to understand physics, and so it seems very difficult, it seems very hard. And so therefore, a lot of kids are not going to the same field they're going to other areas when they enter college. What we're doing in this festival, as Larry said, the largest festival of its kind in the world, what we're doing is, through the hands-on experience, getting kids excited and, and letting them understand that they can have that same thrill of victory that you get in sports by, by uh, engaging in, in problem solving and engineering. It's a two-liter bottle filled with water. There's a ketchup packet floating inside, as right ketchup there. packets tend to do, but with a little bit of magic. That ketchup packet <laughs> sinks. You can see it went all the way down. That's cool. And a little more magic. And it should come right back up. Now, I know magicians are notoriously uh, careful, I would say, about sharing some of their secrets. But this if people come to your booth, maybe they'll learn a little bit uh, about the They can learn a little bit through. about that. What we do, we never share our secrets with anyone who is not a magician. But if you demonstrate the fact that you're interested in learning magic, we will share some secrets with you. And to that end, we have a book available to anyone who's interested. Oh, cool. Uh, it's an e-book, but I printed one so you could see it. It says STEM magic. This is filled with magic tricks that are based on principles of science, technology, engineering, and math. Uh, all things that you can do at home. Some of them are things that you can print out. There are a couple of optical illusions in here that you can print out, cut out, uh, and otherwise... That's super, Chris. Otherwise, you can just read the instructions and learn to do the magic tricks. And so tricks. you can make it on your own. Uh, we also have at our booth a full-size illusion that you can get into. We can remove your head from your body. And these fossils are just like this. These can I help you hold a hold oh, thing absolutely. Yeah, look at the, I got to tell you, it's a little heavy. What is this that I'm holding? So this is a vertebra of a whale, a small whale. Wow. And we're giving hundreds and hundreds of pounds of fossils away to kids. You mean today. I could get a whale? Absolutely. Or Actually, something you could, awesome you could like just keep this? that one yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's cool. And then and we, we have hands on for, for kids as well. Like hands like, on. Like How this that? huge, huge ona from a whale that we recovered from the swamp oh. rivers of Virginia. And uh, kids can actually sit and hold these things. Unlike a museum, you, know, they can come you to tell them. us how heavy. <laughs> okay, wait. Oh my! It's, it's actually nice because I didn't get a chance to do my morning workout, so I'm enjoying this. And I think I'm gonna give that to you though. 